So today is actually the first day of my fifth year at med school. I'll be completely honest and just say that I was really confused about what was actually happening today. I think it wasn't until like 1 or 2 a.m. last night that I finally figured out um, where I had to be today. So today I'm just having online lectures as a sort of like induction and they'll just be talking about what this year is going to be like and how this year is going to be different because of COVID. So it's pretty close to 9 a.m. and I have my first lecture called... Uh, what else is it? Welcome to year five. So uh, I better crack on. Welcome to year five. I'm hoping that despite all of the barriers to us uh, getting together face to face, that I'm going to get to know you over the year um, and that you're going to get to know me. One down, a few more to go, I think. Welcome to year five, everybody. So blue areas mean in which there is a high risk of contamination from COVID. So today I had most of my introductory lectures. Once those were done, I realized I ran out of food. So I hit up the big Sainsbury's near mine. We had some dinner and then we also did a fun little ab workout uh, towards the end of the night, which was definitely harder than I thought it would be, but it's a lot more enjoyable if you do it with your friends. Um, but that pretty much wraps up my first day. It's not your typical day, I guess, for like starting med school. But then again, I don't think anything this year is going to be your typical sort of way of doing things. But that's pretty much it for day one. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, guys. So today I've got to go into the hospital. So this year I'm based out of the Royal Free Hospital. So one of the three main UCL hospitals. And this year with COVID, things are a little bit different. So usually for the different modules that we do, we'd be based out at different hospitals and we'd kind of rotate around. But with COVID this year, um, that isn't the case. And they kind of want to minimize how much we're moving around and you know who we're coming into contact with as well. So today I've still got a few more introductory lectures and I think I need to pick up a few things like I think uh, my new ID and some keys for my new locker as well. But with that being said, let's head on to the hospital. So for our induction in the hospitals, we had a few lectures and one of them was on the PPE that we had to wear for the wards. So like the mask and the gloves. And also on how COVID testing would work during the year. So we were sat in like socially distanced chairs and then afterwards we went to go collect our new locker keys and make our new IDs for the year. I then went off to lunch with JC and we hit up Franco Manca, which is still doing the eat out to help out scheme. And afterwards, another friend Shahil recently moved nearby so I wanted to just drop by and check out his new place. Uh, so good morning guys. Good morning, good afternoon. It's day three now of my first week back at medical school. And um, this morning was a little bit different. We had our intro into the module that I'm starting on, which is Mod C. Um, and I'm going to be starting off with psychiatry. So this morning um, we had this sort of introductory lecture and I just plugged my laptop into my TV and I was just watching it from there. And then after that we had a quick lecture about how to approach a mental health assessment. So what sort of things you should ask for in history and just talking about, you know, what sort of questions which we, would be useful to kind of get this full understanding of like the patient in front of you. It's definitely a nice change of pace to be able to do things online and to be able to watch these recordings later on, maybe at you know 1.5 or 2 times speed. That gives you the kind of freedom to kind of do things when you want. So if I wanted to eat then, or if I wanted to go to the gym then, or things like that, then I could. And so that's exactly what I'm about to do. So I'm about to head to the gym, do a little quick arm workout, and then come back and watch some more lectures when I'm back. Just so
after finishing that last lecture, which was pretty long, like it was like two and a half hours worth of stuff, but I sped that up. Uh, I'm now done for the day. So the only thing that I want to do now is just kind of tidy up my room and maybe vacuum the carpet because it's been a while since I've done that. Okay, and after all of that, I'm done, so I'm off to bed. Today is day four, but it's actually the last day for um, this week of med school because on Monday we had a bank holiday. But I didn't really film too much of this morning and this afternoon because it was just online lectures again, and they were kind of asynchronous lectures where you could do them in your own time. I'm making dinner now, and I was craving some food from back home, so I made this Singapore chicken curry, um, which is basically just chicken, potatoes, and curry. Um, I kind of cheated though, I used this like pre-made sauce packet from back home, but it tastes super, super good. So I'm just gonna keep cooking. I'll catch you guys in a second. So today is Sunday, and one of my friends, Chag, has finally moved into his new flat. So I'm about to go check that out. And it was actually his birthday pretty recently, but he wasn't in London, so you know couldn't do anything and couldn't pass him anything. But luckily, a package came in the mail just now, and I think it's for his birthday present. So I'm about to open that up real quick. Come through, big man. Hey, yo, big man. Hey, yo, big man. Hey, yo, big man. Hey, yo, big man. Hey, yo. This is my masterpiece of nachos that you're gonna eat very soon. <laughs> Happy birthday. Oh, what the <laughs> bro? Holy shit. Balls life, balls life. What's going on? Dunk it. So that pretty much wraps up my first week back at med school. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, don't forget to like the video and subscribe. And until then, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.